Greetings, Chris here with another amazing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get more pandas on your website. I got asked from some people in our community, hey, what's the plugin you're using to get these stock photos on your website? And today I'm going to show you. So let's go to the dashboard, plugins, add new. The page I'm picking my uh, stock photos from is Unsplash. So up here in the keyword section I'm typing in Unsplash and instant images is the thing you want to have. Instant images, I'm going to install it now. Activating Let's Activate Brizzy 2. So and now you see up here in the media section, we now have instant images. There's one thing we need to do before we start importing images. You need to go to settings and here you see the max image upload width and um, the upload height. So what do you want to do? You want to put these numbers as the maximum picture size, the maximum width of your website. So I'm taking 1920 here and 1920 down there because if I'm if I would put here now 1080 for 16 to 9 um, the the plugin would choose these 1080 as the maximum height and some images are not 1080 on uh, Unsplash so um, you would uh, get odd strange sizes so I'm going to put both at 1920 Save settings, back to our images, and now I'm typing in Panda. And there you see tons of amazing and cool images. And if you want to import them, just click on it. Now you see it's downloading, now it's resizing, and now it's done. Let's try again. Downloading, resizing, and it's done. So the blue button always means you're downloading the image from the website. The yellow button means it's resizing and the green button says I'm done. So let's take this one too and let's jump into our media library. Here you see all our images we just downloaded and you see it's 1080 by 1920, 1280 by 1920, 1920 by 1278 and 1920 by 1280. So you see this works perfectly if we put the dimensions both at 1920. And now you can start to work uh, with Brizzy and put all these nice images into your new posts. So let's add a blank one, image one, image two, media library, select number one, Select number two, put them to 100%. And we're done. Two amazing panda images on your website. So I hope this will help you a little bit to get your own stock images. Even if you don't use panda images, you can still use this plugin. And I hope it helped you. And we're going to meet us again in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.